Hi, in this video, we'll be looking at how to add a calculation inside uh, Leads Hook. So I'll make a very simple uh, calculator. And I'm just going to say, um, we'll make an investment calculator. So what is your investment uh, investment uh, amount? Okay, now, of course, we need a... Um, we need a number field to save this in, All right? So I'm just gonna go here and select, um, actually, let's make this one a slider. So we'll do default value of, uh, of uh, one. Um, decimal places, we'll leave it at zero. Minimum is gonna be, uh, let's say, uh, a thousand. Maximum of a, of a million. Uh, and a step of, um, of, 10,000 actually we'll start with 10,000 so we start with 10,000 uh, and we increment by uh, by a thousand uh, by 10,000 sorry which is the step here I want to display the value on under the slider I want to prefix it with uh, a dollar oops not a percentage a dollar sign and I'm um, suffix is not going to be nothing and where do I save it well I'm going to save it into a number custom field so I'm just going to add a new one and I'm going to call this demo underscore investment underscore amount. And this is going to be investment amount. And it's going to be a number field. Default value of zero, required no um, visibility. Uh, no, we don't need to show it. Um, Actually, we might need to show it later. So let's just put visibility of uh, yes. Okay, now it's just to add it to the the question at hand, which is going to be just there you go. Adding, adding, select. So now that that data is going to be whatever the, the data is on the slider, it's going to be saved uh, over here. All right, I'm just going to uh, clone that. And we'll, yeah, we'll use another slider there. What is your investment, or should I say, what uh, percentage return are you expecting on your investment? And here we wanna, once again, um, set it up our minimum to be zero our maximum to be um, 100 and step of point uh, one actually I'll leave it at one here it's no prefix we're gonna have it a suffix of a percentage and once again we need uh, to add a, another custom field uh, this time we'll call it percentage return. So similar name, demo underscore uh, investment uh, underscore return. So this is going to be called investment return. And once again, it is a number. and um, we'll make it percentage let's see what happens uh, visible yes okay save uh, now we want to need to uh, I'm gonna just bring it back out so apply the um, the re okay cool so that's gonna be so the the slider value is gonna be saved inside this number custom field and lastly, we'll just add a results page and tell what the return is. Okay, so your very simple calculation. Right? You can do line calculations. You can do any kind of complex calculations you want. Your returns are. And um, all right, so I'm just going to bring that to the middle over here. Uh, we don't have a field for this yet. So we will just save it for now. 
uh, go ahead and create just open up a new tab and we're going to go to custom fields we're going to go to answer custom fields we're going to go add and we're going to go um, demo underscore investment return the other one should have been percentage so investment <coughs> return and this is going to be a calculated field and the calculated field basically is going to be demo that multiply by that cool the format is going to be currency and we'll make it uh, uh, we'll make it dollar and uh, visible and go save All right so that's uh, done go back here and just gonna center it add fields demo uh, investment yeah that was the one I'll give it a bit of a big color and um, I think I believe that's about it okay so moment of truth let's test it out a very simple calculator in this case all right aha okay so I need to change the percentage uh, display uh, but forward and there's 175 percent return right so the calculation is working the display is a little bit is a little bit weird so let's sort that out so um, yeah I think there's an easier way of doing this okay let me just pause the video while I quickly work this out I decided to make a bit of a change here I'm going to put default value 0, minimum 0, uh, maximum 100, step of 1 for the percentage, and let's test that out. Okay, so that works. Beautiful. Okay, that works too. Now that's awfully large because we need to adjust the formula here. So I'm just going to go into calculated. And there is my field right there. Continue. And I'm going to do investment return uh, divide by um, 100. Cool. So that's basically what will correct the formula because we are capturing the percentage in, in um, not in decimals. So uh, therefore, we need to divide by 100 to get back to decimals. Okay, uh, let's just uh, refresh that. And we're just going to pick a reasonably big round number. And let's just go for 10%. Voila, 50,000. Correct. Now, you could have also skipped uh, the slider and used just a normal number field. So uh, let's go ahead and, and do that. All right, so I'm going to show you another example. Uh, in this case, uh, add node. Just go over here. And this time we're going to have a number field. So we can be like, uh, enter in your investment. Oops. Investment amount. And here you will get the user to, uh, to type in the values. So I'm just going to use the same field. Come over here, demo, and call it investment amount, which is what we want. Save, save, and the result's going to be the same. Now you can do the same with this one. I'm just going to put this at the bottom so it doesn't interfere with us. Let's go over here. Done. Preview. So here we go, 50,000. I think that's 500,000. Forward, we'll do a 10% return. 50,000. So there you go. Still works. Right, if I go next, 
um, I can reset it. So that's because it's going over at the, to the bottom here. All right, so I hope that kind of explains how to do calculated fields. You can go as complex as you want. You can, um, you can do full loan calculator formulas. And if you want to do that, just uh, grab and get this decision tree and it's got a more complex calculation, which is import. Oops, not import. Add new, choose an example and grab, um, grab, 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 grab that one. That's a loan calculator in a chatbot format. All right. And hopefully that gives you some ideas to how to use calculated fields, number fields and calculated fields. Now, to make it more complex, you can actually have multiple you can have one complex field going into another complex field. Uh, sorry, you can have one, my, my apologies, you can have one calculated field going into another calculated field. And uh, so therefore you can do uh, kind of pretty much like how you would do in Excel where you can have one for formula uh, which has its input and then use the formula to derive another form, to, as an input into another formula. So you can kind of go as, uh, as complex as you want. So that ends the video on how to create calculations inside LeadSoak. Thank you and bye for now.